Today, I'm going to show you how to connect your Roku to your and honestly, why you might not want to do that. So let's dive in. Thanks for joining me today. If this video is helpful to you, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more helpful videos like this one. Now, like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Roku to your and I am going to be talking about her quite a bit. So if you have one in the room, go ahead and hit that mute button on your Alexa device so that I don't keep giving her uh, <laughs> instructions throughout this video. Okay, so what we're gonna do first of all is get on your smartphone that has the Alexa app. We're gonna open that app up. From here, there are a lot of ways to get to where we wanna go. What I'm gonna show you is going to this more section at the bottom right, and then you go to settings, right here under Alexa preferences, you'll see TV and video. This is gonna show you a bunch of featured skills. Luckily, Roku is pretty high on the list. So I'm gonna press that plus sign and get in here to the Roku skill and enable to use. From there, it's gonna ask you to log into your Roku account. If you haven't set one up yet, you should do that when you set up your Roku device. And so hopefully you already have one. Go ahead and enter your email address and password there. I am not a robot. At least that's the rumor. We sign in. From there, connect your eligible Roku devices to Alexa. Yes, I do want to do that. And then it's going to ask you to choose which Roku device you're trying to connect. If you only have one, great. I've tested a lot over the years. And so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my uh, studio TV on this one and link it to the Alexa app. Automatically link Roku devices. In this case, I don't really wanna do that. I have too many devices floating around. You may want to, but all right. So now we're gonna continue to the Alexa app your Roku account has been successfully linked. So that's it. You don't even have to go onto your Roku device. It will do it all here in the Alexa for you. Okay, choose the device you'd like to control. Yep, that's my studio TV. We'll continue with that. Which devices do I want to be able to control that? This is important. I've got a lot of Echo devices around the house, but I really only want my Echo Studio, the one behind me, to be able to control the TV. So I will link those devices together. All right, there we go. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you may not actually want to do this. I still do it, honestly, because there are some conveniences, but it doesn't give you the functionality that you might think you're going to get. What it does do for you is it allows you to turn on and off the TV. It allows you to turn up the volume, maybe set a specific TV volume or mute it. Uh, you can open up some apps. They've got a hundred apps that they say are available for Alexa to turn on on your Roku. But the problem, the big problem comes in navigating content. There's no good way to navigate through Roku menus using your voice commands with Alexa. So if you are trying to do that, you can't tell her to move left, move right, select this, you know, back out of that. You can tell her to open up certain apps or turn on and off the TV, like I said, but not much more than that. So, like I said, I've got my Roku attached to my Alexa, but I don't try to do anything fancy with it. This is mostly, if I'm already out of the room and I have forgotten to turn off the TV, I can just yell at Alexa to do it. Or if my kids have been watching for too long and I want her to turn the TV off for them, I can have her do that, you know? So there are little things like that that are convenient, but you're not going to be able to do a lot of the stuff that you might want to. If you do want to be able to do that stuff, what you probably should go for is a different TV device. Instead of a Roku, if you are an Alexa household, go for an Amazon Fire Stick. The functionality there is a lot more seamless, as you can imagine. Or if you really like the new Google Chromecast, then you know maybe consider going with a Google Assistant instead. My point here is just that the Roku Alexa pairing is nice, but it's not as powerful as you might expect. So if you have any comments or questions on how this works, go ahead and hit the comments below. I'll be glad to field some of those down there. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.